Hello everyone, welcome to Moto Mangi. Today I am going to be, well, I'm at the Home Depot right now. Ugh, let's turn the bike on. Getting some wood screws for a table I'm building, but for this Moto Vlog, I'm going to be celebrating a milestone my channel recently, oh. Let's turn off the disco. <laughs> Today for this Moto Vlog, I'm going to be celebrating a milestone my channel recently hit. That is namely, recently my channel hit 2,000 subscribers. That happened about a week or so ago, I think. I'm not sure, well, I know the date. It was May 15th is when it happened, but it kind of came and went and I missed it, but I only noticed it a few days after that. <laughs> that guard rail got destroyed, wow. I don't typically pay attention to my subscribers so much. I glance at it once in a while. Let me start that by saying, well, let me get to the light here first. It's lunchtime on this gloomy Pennsylvania day. It's not very sunny out. It's all overcast and just drab. It's not supposed to rain, but I think it might. Let me start by saying this first of all, thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel. Thank you to all 2000 plus of those subscribers. I appreciate it greatly. Now I've been motovlogging vlogging for a little over three years. Three years and a handful of months. So it's taken me three years, well, three years and two months or so to acquire 2,000 subscribers on my channel. So if you look back on that, say it's uh, 36, 38 months, 2,000 divided by 38 months, I seem to get about 50 to 60 subscribers per month is about the rate my channel seems to be accumulating. And I find that kind of interesting. I went through my analytics for a change. I hardly ever look at them, but when I saw I hit 2,000 subscribers, I looked at stuff for a little bit in my YouTube studio page. And I noticed that, you know, the subscriber gains and losses, because you do lose subscribers over the time too. You're not just getting subscribers, you're losing them too. The rate at which I've lost and gained subscribers has changed. It's not constant. It, it, it fluctuates and certain videos are better at bringing in new viewers and new subscribers than others I watch out for the UPS truck let's go around slowly I can't see right but on average spread out over all those three plus years it seems to be about 55 subscribers per month in the range of 50 to 60. Now, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I don't have any clue. I'm just amazed I have 2,000 subscribers, to be honest. But if you extrapolate that out over the next, you know, in the future, I would hit the 3,000 subscriber milestone at about one and a half years from now, about 16 months or so. So that would be end of 2025. So, <laughs> so by the end of 2025, I should have 3,000 subscribers. If I keep going at the current rate. Not really though, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. It's more of a, uh, a vanity metric. Because even you know, though you have all those subscribers, not all your subscribers watch your videos every week or every video you upload. That's not how YouTube works. You do have your regular viewers, you know. There are certain subscribers that watch all, all my videos. Again, thank you to all you people who do. <laughs> but you'll see typically most channels have their videos get about anywhere from a third to a quarter to maybe a fifth. You know, the, the number of views compared to the numbers of subscribers, that's the ratio that typically YouTube videos seem to perform at. Now, certain channels do better than others, but you almost never have videos that get viewed by all your subscribers. And the, the more vlog channels that do have that, you know, they're the ones who are making lots of money. But it's not easy to do. And it's not typical either. But if you look at, you know, digging into the analytics, the number of subscribers that watch a channel's video is actually quite small. Most of the video's views come from people who are just browsing YouTube or searching YouTube or randomly happen upon your video who aren't subscribed to your channel. So in that light, the subscriber count 
doesn't mean a whole lot with regards to how a, a video performs. I'm gonna go down this road for a bit. Dang blue road. I knew that actually, just forgot kind of the road name. Look at that view, nice. What's more important to a channel's health and success is the views you get, the number of views per video and the views per month and that kind of thing. But still, as a YouTube creator, there are certain metrics you can watch to judge how well your channel is doing, you know? One of them being views per video, click-through rate, all that stuff that I don't know. I don't watch that stuff. I don't know what that means. I'm not even sure what a click-through rate is exactly. I know Bro Reality talks about that kind of stuff. And I watch his videos and he's big on the looking at the analytics and judging him and all that stuff. Me, not so much. I probably should do a better job of that. I just don't. But from the most visible metrics you can look at to tell if your channel is doing well or not, you know, one is views and the other is subscriber count. So even though subscriber count isn't all that important, it is a visible metric that's easily viewable and watchable. But I still don't look at mine that often. <laughs> like, I noticed I had 2,000 subscribers and that just the other day, and this is uh, May 19th right now, I'm filming this. So I missed it for a week and I hit that 2,000 subscribers a week ago, I didn't even notice it. And this video won't go live for another week or two probably, so I'm celebrating this 2,000 subscribers milestone publicly about two or three weeks after the fact. <laughs> Whoopsie. I'll be curious to see though, because I hear a lot of people say, once you get a couple thousand subscribers, the rate at which your channel grows increases. For whatever reason, the YouTube algorithm pushes channels with subscriber counts, higher subscriber counts more than channels with lower subscriber counts. It's something that triggers the algorithm, I guess, from what I've heard and read. I don't know if it's actually true or not, just what I hear and read on, you know, from experts, experts, you know, whatever. So I'll be curious to see now that I've passed 2,000 if I get to 3,000 faster than the trend is showing or predicting. So by end of 2025, if I'm over 3,000 subscribers, then the rate did increase, you know? But we'll see. It'll be I don't, you know, I care more for curiosity than anything else. Cause like I said, like I said many times, Moto Bank is more a hobby for me. It's not a way of living. It's not a career. It's not a earning. I'm not doing this for salary or make money to live on or anything. I'm just doing it for fun. But a big part of, I'm going this way. A big part of Moto Mangi for me is more just, I think the challenge of Moto Vlogging or running a YouTube channel. Like I like Moto Vlogging because I like riding, riding motorcycles. So I like filming my rides and making motorcycle content. I like that, I enjoy it. I love editing videos. But aside from that, a big part of the attraction to moto, moto vlogging for me is simply running my channel. I don't run it very effectively. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I don't look at my analytics hardly ever. Analytics are just something that's there for me. And I look at a couple times a year at most, maybe not even. If I wanted to really optimize my channel and make it work better and grow it faster, I would pay more attention to analytics and make decisions based on that, but I don't. I make decisions based on what I want to do and that kind of thing. But I am, I do enjoy paying attention to the little things, like uh, how many views a video gets and what kind of videos get more views, how many comments my videos get and what who says, you know, what people are saying about my, about my videos, what comments people are leaving. I like the feedback. I like the comments. And I've made decisions for videos down the road based on comments from people who give me on past videos. I've, I've done that. I find that interaction, that engagement very fun. But also challenging because I like trying to make better and better videos and improve my editing skills, that kind of thing. I like trying out new video styles to see what works, what doesn't work. What I enjoy, what I don't enjoy. 
for me personally the number of subscribers don't really factor into it but still it's nice to see progress on the channel and it's it's, it's encouraging i guess is the word this rose energy truck is in no hurry man look at those clouds i think it's gonna rain today sure does look like it not supposed to but geez damn <laughs> So yeah, this video I just kind of rambled on, didn't I? <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers and mention the 2000 subscriber milestone and talk about it. Ramble on like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Ramble on. I'm not going to sing because no one would enjoy that. Uh -huh, I wanted to go straight as well. All right, we'll go straight and then I'll turn off somewhere here. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. I wanted to say, you know, Hurrah for reaching 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> and here's looking forward to 3,000. And someday 4,000 and 5,000 and yada, yada, yada. Well, I've droned on long enough. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for riding along. Keep exploring new roads out there. And see you next time. Ramble on. Sing my song. I wonder if I sing a song on YouTube without any music behind, will I still get copyright stricken? Like, to simply singing the words in my video flag YouTube to say it's a Led Zeppelin song in my video? You know what? I'm gonna put that at the end of my video just to include it, and then I'll find out if I get copyright stricken or not. I'll call it a YouTube experiment. Hopefully one doesn't fail, because... <laughs> oh well, we'll see. Man, those clouds are getting nasty. I might have to get my butt on home before I get doused on. Before the monsoon breaks open. Yeah, I think this might rain. <laughs>